you are happy and you know, wash your hands. If you are happy and you know, wash your hands. If you are happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you are happy and you know, wash your hands. How are you, great ones? Hey, you look fine today. I hope you're okay. I'm okay too. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow. Personal hygiene. And we said what is hygiene? We said hygiene is the care of our body. Just keeping our body clean, that is basically a hygiene. And what are some of the ways in which you keep your body clean? What are some of the materials you use to clean this body? And what are some of these parts of the body that require cleaning every day? We talked about the different parts of the body, the head, shoulder, knees and toes, the hands, the eyes, nose, ears. And we talked about the several materials that are used for cleaning. If you look around our class, you can see some of them. We have the soap gel, we have the pumice stone, the handkerchief, the sponge, hairbrush, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste. And someone was asking me today, Teacher, are we supposed to share a toothbrush? Are we supposed to share a toothbrush? No. Why? Janet, why? Why are you not supposed to share a toothbrush? Why can't I use a toothbrush and give it to my sister? Of course, she's my sister. Teacher, toothbrush, hairbrush, or what else? The nail cutter, those are what we call personal items. And what are personal items? Personal items are items that are only supposed to be used by one person. What if they're shared? What will happen if you share these personal items? They're going to cause, to spread some diseases. Now, I want us in groups. I want us in groups. We want to make a journal. And this journal is about how we'll be cleaning our, pot, our body parts. We have those ones that we like starting with brushing and I, I want to ask someone a question. When are you supposed to brush your teeth? Teacher, you're supposed to brush your teeth once in a, in a week. Once in a week? Really? Oscar, you're supposed to brush your teeth at least twice in a day. Twice in a day. And when you talk about twice in a day, it's only because most of the lunch hours, you're not at home. You're always in school. Unless you're at home, always brush your teeth after every meal. That will be thrice in a day. But because you're at school, that's why you say at most twice in a, in a day. So on our journal, we want to include, look at the board. When you look at the board here, we have the task. The task will be what we are going to do. What we'll be doing either daily, once in a week, twice in a week, I don't know. Then, on this side, the ones that are written in the red pen, it is the number, the day. For example, if I write here, if I write here, brushing teeth, that is my task. Brushing teeth, that is my task number one. So I'm going to ask myself, do I brush my teeth on day one, then I don't brush on day two? Or do I brush my teeth on day two, and then I don't brush on day one? What is brushing teeth? Brushing teeth is oral hygiene. And of course, if you don't keep your mouth clean, you will always be smelling, have a bad breath. And so we say, brushing your teeth. If you brush the teeth on a Monday, you will put a tick. If you brush it on a Tuesday, you will put a tick. What about on Wednesday? Will you not brush? Teacher will brush because you're supposed to brush your teeth daily. On the fourth day, I will put a tick. On the fifth day, I will put a tick. That is my task for the week. But of course, you are going to tick this journal after you have done that task. You don't tick it before you do the, the task. So of course, you can't tell me that you've ticked up to day two, day four, or day five and you have only we are only on day in day one like today in the morning did you brush your teeth yes you come tick tomorrow in the morning after you brush your teeth you again tick then ask yourself which other activity can i do which other cleaning can i do on my body or which other thing can i do on my body i can decide to write here washing face washing the face my task number two is washing 
the face. Most of you, I realize you don't wash your face. I was surprised. Most of you, you don't wash your face. You assume after brushing the teeth, you have washed your face. No. When you brush your teeth and you gargle the water, after washing the mouth, remember to wash your face. So you'll ask yourself, did I brush? Did I wash my face today? Yes. You put a tick. Tomorrow after washing that face again, tick. If you don't wash, make sure you be sincere to yourself. Put an X. Then you see. Do am I observing the correct personal hygiene? So in groups, I want to give out this and everybody will be making his or her own journal depending on the activities you do. I don't want to see everybody writing for me, brushing teeth, washing the face. Those are not the only activities you can do. No. There are so many activities you can do to your body. There is nail cutting. There is applying oil. There is brushing the teeth. There is washing hands. And when do you wash our hands? Teacher, we are supposed to wash our hands before and after eating. Then after visiting the washroom. Okay? So there are so many tasks you can do in a day. So you will take this piece of manila paper. Teacher, are we doing it in groups? No. This one is your personal hygiene. Are we talking about is your hygiene same as my hygiene? Or is my hygiene same as your hygiene? No. Our hygiene are very different. There are those people who cut their nails daily. There are those people who brush their hair. And maybe the, for the girls, they have plated their hair. They don't require brushing of the hair. There are those people who, who use the body oil. There are those people who do not use the body oil. So your hygiene is not my hygiene. Neither is your hygiene. So do whatever you normally do. Write, indicate here in the task, indicate what you normally do as a person. Will the girls write here washing of the hair? They don't wash their hairs daily. Maybe they write washing the hair and they tick only on day one. That is when they wash the hair and then it was plated. After that, the other days it's only putting some oil and they go to school. Okay? Like for the, which other one? The, bo the boys, that those who will tell you, teacher will, no, even not boys alone, even some girls, that those who tell you, teacher, I'd only use the handkerchief when I have a flu. And when I don't have a flu, I don't need a handkerchief. So you'll find that the column for using handkerchief will be very, very empty. There are those who removed the wax from the ear only once. And after that, they didn't remove it the second day or the third day or the fourth day because maybe there was no need. So will they write there, removing wax and they tick the whole of the column? No, no, no. So you make sure you are writing what you do daily. And, and at the end, I want to see something like this. At the end, I want to see something like this. For mine, I'm going to put it up there. I'll be taking it again in the morning, every morning when I come here so that you also see the hygiene I do. There are those people who don't change their clothes. Do you know that? The clothes they wore on Monday after school, they're the same, same clothes they'll put on until Friday. That is your hygiene. So you will tell us what do you normally do daily and what do you not do daily. Okay? So we are saying personal hygiene varies from one person to another. It depends with yourself and what you do. So we have said this is what will happen. Now this is what I'm, I want us to do. On the piece of manila paper that I've given you, you're going to draw there. How many columns? This is the first column. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is basically for a full week. A week has seven days. So write for me personal hygiene. It is personal. Very, very personal. Very, very private. Does not require a group. Then after that, show me the task. What, which task do you do every day? Right there. Brushing teeth. So if brushing teeth appears daily in your column, for example, today is Monday, did you brush your teeth? Yes. Take there. I brushed my teeth. Then wait for tomorrow. Combing hair. Did you comb your hair? Of course, if you have short hair, you did the combing after washing. That is basically it. Washing face. Do you wash your face once in a week, twice, or every day? Again, indicate there. I washed my face in the morning. 
then washing hands do you wash your hands like on monday did you wash your hands tuesday did you wash your hands wednesday now you're going to tell me washing hands i wash my hands on a daily basis changing clothes do you change your clothes daily or do you change once in a week or twice in a week you're the one who knows again put a tick so that tomorrow we are also going to look at the same same task but on a different day and i want people to fill in the missing task there are so many tasks you can do we have only talked about brushing teeth combing hair washing face washing hands changing clothes we have not talked about other activities like what have we not changed you have said changing hair there are those who do not wash their socks even that one is personal hygiene there are those who do not cut nails that is personal hygiene there are those who do not use tissue when they go to the washroom that is also personal hygiene hygiene so let us fill in the tasks the way we are supposed to fill in any question any problem so tomorrow what i'm going to check is this journal and i want to make sure everybody does it and does it very well so today when you go in the evening at home share with your guardians share with your caregivers some of the personal hygiene practices we do to remain healthy any problem any question it was nice seeing you around and i hope i'll have you in the next lesson thank you